So how do the changes in gas conditions or physical properties affect the performance of a compressor? To understand this point, let's plot the performance curve or QH curve of a centrifugal compressor and the performance curve of a reciprocating compressor. As we see, Q which is the volumetric flow rate of the gas depends on H, the head which the compressor gives. Let's assume that we need to operate the centrifugal compressor at this point, so we have a specific flow rate at a specific head. For a reciprocating compressor, it shall give a constant volume, so we shall have a constant volumetric flow rate, but differential head can be varied depending on the system resistance. For a pump, the pump head has a simple relationship with the differential pressure, as the liquid density is constant. But for a compressor, and as gases are compressible, we shall have a more complex relationship as the gas physical properties change with the change of pressure and temperature. So this shall be the relationship between head and pressure. So for example, if we want the same gas discharge pressure at a higher suction temperature, this means that we need that the compressor gives a higher head. This may lead to decreasing the inlet flow rate for a centrifugal compressor, while in case of a positive displacement compressor, the flow rate is not expected to decrease as we can see in the curves. But this still means more power, and motor rated power needs to be checked. This is a nice feature of positive displacement compressor, as they are much less affected by gas conditions, and characteristics than dynamic compressors. But still high suction temperature means higher discharge temperature, API recommends that the maximum operating temperature of a reciprocating compressor is 150 C. This may be a safety issue that should be avoided in a reciprocating compressor. The opposite case will be when we examine the gas molecular weight, we may have some modes of operation, where we need to compress a gas with a higher molecular weight, which means a higher density. So if we need just to maintain the compressor discharge pressure, this shall need less head, which means more compressor throughput, and vice versa for a low gas molecular weight, which means higher compressor head, and less flow at constant discharge pressure. For a positive displacement compressor, still no much flow change is expected. But this means more pressure and more power. On the other hand, we may need to keep the flow. In this case the compressor still gives a constant head, but the outlet pressure varies. So when the suction temperature increases at a constant head, the compressor will give less discharge pressure. While when we have a gas of a higher molecular weight, the compressor will give a higher discharge pressure at a constant head. As the compressor curve depends on many factors, it's always important to provide the compressor manufacturer with the applicable scenarios to check them. For this reason and as the AP 617 recommends, the supplier provides the curves for both head versus flow rate, and discharge pressure versus flow rate. If you liked the video, don't forget to press like, subscribe in the channel. If you want more information on compressor operation and performance, you can check out the link in the description. See you in another video.